Example 2. In a reaction between calcium carbonate and liquid hydrochloric acid, it's the same reactions as we did just now. Uh, carbon dioxide gas that is released is uh, the carbon dioxide gas that is released is collected in a burette. The graph shows the volumes of carbon dioxide collected over time. Find the average rate of reactions in the first 60 seconds. Okay, so they want us to find the average rate eh, in the first 60 seconds. To find the average rate in the first 60 seconds, this is called a periods of time. Eh? This is called a period of time. Okay, now for the periods of time, you must have a starting point and the end point. When does the period start and when does the periods end? So for example, in this case, the first 60 seconds. The first 60 seconds is start at 0 seconds and then it ends at 60 seconds. Right? Okay. So for the periods, uh, you must have uh, the starting point and the end point. Okay. And to find the rate of reactions, just now we have learned that the rate of reaction is equal to what? The rate of reaction is always equal to the, the rate of reactions equals to what? Equals to the gradient of the graph. Eh? Okay. Gradients of the graph. Okay. But how to find the gradients of the graph? Okay. Now to find the gradients of the graph, we need a straight line. Okay. We need a straight line. Eh? But how to draw the straight lines? So you find the initial po in initial points and the end points or the final points. Okay. You start at zero second, you end at 60 seconds. Okay. So we have one point at zero seconds. So this is our first point. Okay. And the end point is at 60 seconds, right? Okay. 60 seconds is somewhere around here. Okay. 60 seconds. Okay. Now we have two points. Eh? After we found our two points, then we draw a straight lines to connect these two points. Okay. So after we get our two points here, then we can start finding the gradients of the graph. Eh? The gradients of the graph is equal to the rate of reactions. Okay. Or let me rewrite here again. Uh, let me erase this. The rate of reactions is equal to the gradient of the graph. And how to find the gradients of the graph? Okay, now to find the gradients of the graph, you need to draw a triangle. We already have one line, okay? You need to draw a triangle and then we find the gradient from the triangle. Purple. Okay, let's take this point. And to find the gradients, uh, we need to take the height of the triangle, okay, divided by the width of the triangle, okay. From here, the height uh, is from 0 to 25, uh, so it's 25 cm cube. Okay, the height, the height is from 0 to 25, so it's 25 cm cube, and the width here is 60 seconds. The width is equal to 60 seconds and the gradient is equal to the height eh? the height of the triangle divided by the width of the triangle or the change of the products this is called a change of the products eh? and this is called a change of the times eh? the change of the products over the change of the time or the height of the triangles divided by the width of the triangle so it's 25 divided by 60 25 cm cube divided by 60 seconds, okay? And then use your calculators to find the answer. 0 0.4167, okay? Let's take 0 0.42, okay? Round up to 0 0.42, eh? 0 0.42, okay, the units, we take cm cube divided by seconds. Eh? So the unit is cm cube per seconds. Okay, so the average rate of reactions for the first 60 seconds is 0 0.42 cm cubed per second. So this is how we find average rate of reactions from a graph. First, because we know that for the, this is a period of time, okay? So for the periods of times, we must have uh, the beginnings and the end. 
So for the first 60 seconds, we start from 0 seconds and then we end at 60 seconds. So we have two points. So then we draw a straight lines connecting these two points. And then we find the gradients of the graph. 